Once you've loaded QGIS, I want you to be able to download some data from um, the, the uh, class website. First thing though, file organization in GIS is probably one of the more critical pieces and, and most confusing pieces for students. So I find it best to create a new folder and I work on my desktop which is a little messy but sometimes I can find things. So I'm just going to uh, create a data folder called um, Q project one and you'll notice I don't have a space in that name I have an underscore and sometimes uh, for some pro for some software that's a really critical piece of information um, so I'm going to save my data and save all my information into that folder so first thing now that you you have your folder set up you're going to go to the GTFT website and under week six you're going to see three links uh, and we're going to work with the 2010 state data this is from the 2010 census so I click the data choose OK um, the data is downloaded and I'm going to actually drag it into my project one folder open the project one folder and then using 7-zip extract here and what that does is it creates an unzipped folder and right now the only thing in this data is um, an Esri shape file and the Esri shape file is composed of at least four supporting documents uh, and you need all four of those and in this case I would take all of these files uh, in order to look at or view one uh, element in QGIS. There's a file called a projection file um, that is really helpful to have but sometimes you'll get a, a, a GIS project that doesn't have that. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to launch my desktop quantum GIS. Again here's a nice tip that I'm not going to read. And on the toolbar there's a plus sign and a little map, a green map under it, and that is, allows me to add what's called a vector layer. And the shape file that we're going to be using is a vector type file. It's a file made of a point, a line, or a polygon. So I'm going to browse to my desktop and open my Project One folder, open my USA Data folder, and even though I know there are several files in here, the only one that I can see right now is the shape file that I need to click on. So this is the, the main document. If, I, if you don't see that, double check that this is looking for an Esri shape file. The really very cool thing about this is that at some point you will be able to bring in KML files from Google Earth. But right now we're going to work with a shape file. I'm going to click on that. It adds to the file name and say open and open. Um, this will default to uh, probably a projection called WGS84, but if you want your map to look a little less distorted, I would scroll down here and find a projected coordinate system and I would choose either the Albers or the Lambert conformal conic. There it is. I'm going to choose the Lambert and say OK. And uh, there's my view of the map. And in uh, the Word doc or the Word version, you can click that and zoom in on your map if you just want to look at the continental U United States and I've loaded my data um, and the next video I'll show you how to set this into a quantitative map.